Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vitamill. Today we're going to do a quick vape myth busting session. To learn something, make sure you keep watching. Boom. Oh. Myth number one. Thanks to mainstream media, years ago, popcorn lung became a massive feared thing. And if you ever mentioned vaping, people said, oh, it gives you popcorn lung, doesn't it? Well, that's not true. It kind of is, but it ain't. Popcorn lung is a real thing. It's called bron bronchiolitis obliterans. Got it. And that is caused by a chemical called diacetol. Now, diacetol was used in popcorn factories um, to make, because it gives you a buttery flavour. So many popcorn factories, therefore, people, that's why it's called popcorn lung, because workers in the factory used to get it. However, in the very early days of vaping, there were one or two liquids found with diacetyl in to provide a buttery flavour like butterscotch and yada yada. However, that liquid has now been banned from e-cigarettes and you should not, if you go to reputable sources, you will not find diacetyl in vaping. No, vaping does not cause popcorn lung. Myth number two. E-cigarettes aren't regulated and we don't know anything about them. Ah, it's a lie guys. UK has some of the strictest regulations in the world in regards to e-cigarettes under the Tobacco and Related Products Act, whatever year, 2016. All products must be notified by the manufacturer to the UK Healthcare Products and Reg Regulatory Act, MHRA, with quite detailed information including all the ingredients. Myth number three. E-cigarettes must be harmful because they contain nicotine and nicotine's harmful. Bullshit. Sorry guys, but that is just a myth completely. In fact, some people even think nicotine's good for you. There's some research into that. I know someone, I personally know someone that gets benefits from nicotine. So she just has nicotine for that reason, even though she never smoked. But apparently 4 in 10 ex-smokers and smokers think it's nicotine that causes cause a lot of the smoking related cancers. It's not true at all guys. In smoking, nicotine is pretty much minimal risk. There's seven other thousand chemicals in cigarettes. They're the ones that do major damage. In them seven thousand, there is 250 that are known to be extremely hazardous. And they're not in vapes. Come on, it's simple. All right, that might have been a bit misleading. There is some chemicals in vapor that are in cigarettes but not the most harmful ones and at much lower levels. And a little bit more information on that, the two most harmful chemicals are carbon monoxide and tar, and they are not in vapes. Happy days, guys. Stay healthy. Myth number four. Vaping must be harmful to bystanders. Not true. In the UK, as most of you know around the world, and same around the world in places, Smoking is banned in public places in the UK. That's to protect bystanders from passive smoke, yada yada. Vaping is not, and that's for a reason. Current research shows that there is no harmful effect, if any effect, to bystanders. So you're fine, guys. Just enjoy my lemon tart smell. Myth number five. E-cigarettes are going to cause young people to start smoking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, come on. How many people in the world started vaping and then started smoking? Fair enough, it might be one or two. But how many people have started smoking and then started vaping after? Right, guys, it's quite simple. Th this has been going on for a while, and I understand it because when I was talking about vape, I look cool as hell, and so does everyone else. But it's not true. There's been quite extensive research in the UK, and we found that the younger people are smoking, not vaping, and the ones that are vaping, are trying to quit smoking. And that can't be a bad thing, guys, seriously. I'm not saying it's okay for younger people to smoke, uh, to vape, sorry. I'm not saying it's okay for them to smoke. But you can't accuse the vape industry of getting people onto nicotine when the, the, the evidence is clearly there to show that they're coming off for smoking onto nicotine because that at least shows an effort to quit. Um, fair enough, they shouldn't be doing it, but they're smoking anyway. Yeah, and yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not saying it's acceptable for them to vape if you try and quit smoking. They shouldn't be smoking in the first place. But my point here is clear. Vaping 
is not getting attracting children at all. Well, at least not to the extent that they say it is. Myth number six. Vaping has been used as a Trojan horse to keep people smoking. The tobacco industry has got this big conspiracy. Now, there's two split sides of this. I'm going to read the government information and then I'll tell you my version. Uh, 3.2 million vapors in the world, uh, in the country, sorry, in the UK, and more than half of them have stopped smoking completely. And 770,000 have stopped smoking and vaping. So if that were the uh, tobacco industry's plan, it's failed. Now my version. I don't know if you've heard of Juul, Blue, um, Vibe. All these companies are owned by Big Tobacco. And I was talking to them the other week. And if you go into Asda, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, they all sell the Big Tobacco brand. Now, if you look at these systems, they're generally enclosed pod systems, all liquids. But they're in no way to cut down. In my shop, we go from 20 milligram uh, Nick Salts. I would do higher, but TP didn't allow me to. Uh, so we go from 20 to 18. Some have got 16, I believe, but 20, 18, 12, 9, 6, 3, kaput, 0. That's because I, I'm here to help people quit smoking and I'm also here to help people enjoy vaping. You can't quit smoking onto something that's going to give you a high nicotine rush forever. You have to have a path to break down. The tobacco industry has rushed into this industry as fast as they can because they've realised they've missed an opportunity, took loads of money in, and they, just, they don't want you to quit vaping. If you're vaping, that's fine, but they want your money forever. So my advice to defeat the tobacco industry is yes vape but don't vape a big tobacco brand you use use the good vape community brands like smark inner king geek vape free max i don't want to list them all because there is literally hundreds but just look into the brand guys don't buy from from tesco that has the same as farmers there go to a vape shop buy some real decent juice and hardware it also works out cheaper as well myth number seven vaping doesn't help you quit smoking I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even going to throw research at this. It's fact. It, if you want research on it, Google it. I mean, the, the odds that I've just shown you, 3.2 million people have quit smoking. Uh, 3.2 million people have vaping, half of which have quit smoking, uh, and over half of well, three quarters of a million have stopped vaping and smoking. It does help, guys. And if and it, people say, oh yeah, but. He's been vaping for 20 years. That's his choice. His brother's been vaping, uh, smoking for 40. What difference does it make? The entire point is it does stop you from smoking and it can be a good way to cut down on nicotine and then cut out nicotine and then cut vaping. It's your choice whether you're staying on it or not. Don't judge people for that. Um, but don't spread the rumour if it doesn't help you to quit smoking because it does. End off. It is far, far less... The country's got far, far less of smokers at the minute. And there's also been some research which has just been released that says vaping is twice as efficient of helping you quit smoking than pouch, uh, patches, nicotine patches, and gum. So there you go, guys. The government's two solutions. Vaping has doubled their success rate. Come on. Thanks for watching, guys. If you learn anything, please share it on social media with your friends. Everything is quite important that we debunk these myths. Uh, not for... The shops, but for the community, for the country, for the health of the world, let's save the world together. No, but seriously, guys, it's good to pass on information, so please share it. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, press a thumbs up, give us a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys, stay louder.